My name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and pretty much I go sourcing at garage sales, uh, thrift stores, bin stores, storage units, online liquidation, like you guys name it, I'm trying to do it. Hi, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever's watching this video. Um, we're at the storage facility again, and like I said, we're about halfway through the unit. Just, uh, getting some stuff uh, out of the way so we can start digging through some of the good stuff. Hopefully find some more train stuff, uh, but this is kind of what we got going on. This is all the trash for the most part. And we got these beautiful heavy totes that are filled with trash. Um, yeah, we got to... Uh, Get some of this stuff out of the way and then uh, we'll show you guys some good stuff. All right, guys, so we got some boxes pulled. And guess what? You guys have a knife today. <laughs> Thanks to the wifey. That's why it's always good to have a, a good old wifey next to you. She'll, she'll make sure you have the essentials that you need. That way you can be productive and might not be the greatest knife. <laughs> it keeps folding in. But it'll get the job done. Okay. All right, as you guys can see here, we got some more of these trestle sets again. They're not worth like crazy money, but there's two of those. There's this other box that says bumpers on it. It's like a plastic house of some sort. I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, this box is just going to go to somebody in. This one was open, but we didn't look inside it. We just assumed that it was trains. Oh, okay, here we go. Found a bunch of these before. And it's like a lot of train tracks in here too. Train tracks, train tracks. So yeah, I might just take this box just because of the train tracks. So I'll just take the switches and stuff. But yeah, a lot of train tracks in there. So this one will probably just go to me. All right, this one was interesting. The wifey says, it says sell plastic toys. You know, plastic toys can be Oh. Train tracks. <laughs> Plastic toys can be train tracks. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is sell plastic toys. All right, and we got these right here. So these are trains, but these are like really big, really big trains. It says Rio Grande something. Looks like it might be. Well, it's not broke. I don't see Lionel anywhere. So okay, so it says Bachman. Okay, so again, that box will go to somebody. Williams Electric Trains. This does. Oh, got a little tear in there. Boxes are a little brittle. Um, this says Williams Electric Trains. Pennsylvania. This thing right here is still sealed. So this looks like. I mean, it appears to be new. But Pennsylvania. That is pretty, and it's, and it's metal. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. It's supposed to be 95 all the way up to 105 degrees today. So we're probably gonna be speeding through this a little bit today. And on top of that, I have an appointment at two o'clock. So we, uh, we're gonna be speeding along whenever we can. Sorry, I can already feel the heat. All right, what are these? These are Lionel switches. So they like train track switches. Okay, yeah, so it goes to train track and there's gonna be two of those in here so again I might just take those I don't know there's like two loose pieces that we got you guys might have seen these in the other videos we just haven't grabbed them so this is called a Lionel what bumper no a log loader log loader right there Lionel loader number 364 made in USA so I mean, there's that. another one of these like little radio tower things this is like a uh, I'm on the tops right there um, so yeah it's kind of light, but it is metal. Um, but we will figure out who gets those two pieces in those boxes. But uh, yeah, let us uh, let us pull some more boxes. All right, guys, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes, and I think six of them are sealed, or maybe seven. All right. Uh, I really don't know really where to start here. There we go. 
righty. What kind of goodies we got? Ah, okay, okay, got some of these. Oh, okay, yeah. Not what you want. Okay, but there's some K-line stuff down there. Yeah, these trees, like I said, you guys are, I mean, there's a little bit of value in there, but they're really, really slow. They're just not worth anything. Not really worth showing, to be honest. But there's some, oh, that's Heinz ketchup. That's cool. Uh, normally 11 bucks. So again, I'm not sure what the, I know the K-line stuff didn't, didn't have like crazy amounts of value, but there is some of them that do. As I say, Timken. Oh, Timken. If you guys don't, have never heard of the brand called Timken, they make uh, bearings and stuff like that for like uh, big semi truck drivers. Only reason why I know that is because I used to work on them. Um, but yeah, Timken. I'm sure they make other stuff too. But and then Erie C101 Lionel six dash two six five nine three appears to be new. So yeah, we'll keep all this stuff together, um, even though they're trees. <laughs> um, again, somebody's gonna get a few few good things, and somebody's not gonna get. That's good things. I was curious about this thing. This thing said connects. Like down. This thing said connects. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be connects, but wouldn't that be dope to see some vintage connects, you know, from the early 2000s? Imagine you find Legos or something, would be crazy. Mm -hmm. Don't think we're gonna find any of that in here, but I think it's just all the train stuff. I'm just hoping that this thing train tracks because uh, <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Train tracks with like more train tracks. <laughs> train, yeah, they're all train tracks. Dang. Well, no connects, but train tracks. All right, this one was heavy. It says WT something made something. I don't know. Um, but in these white boxes, there's usually these heavy duty trains. And in this, there is. Okay. So we've actually found a few of these. These are the 450s, I think. I learned pretty quick, but I don't. These are the 450s. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be two, uh, actually no, so it's gonna be one 450. These are only going for about 50 bucks. 50 bucks, 50 bucks though, you know what I mean, for a train. And I've never seen this one before. This one just says Lionel Lines, made in USA. I'm not seeing a number, um, so, but it's plastic. As you guys can see there, it's plastic, not metal. Oh, all right, on to the next box. Let's go with this one. This one's sealed. It's a little light though. So I'm not expecting anything crazy, but let's see. Alright, let's see what they spent. Oh, popcorn. $151.73. Oh, I hate these popcorn things, man. I dislike them very much. Alright, so it looks like. Lionel boxes railroad crossing flasher. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. That's what it is. And then there's something else on the bottom here. I don't want to mess it up. But it feels like it feels like another box for sure. That's like definitely a box. So let's just say I'm assuming it's gonna be two of those. And that's it. That's all that's gonna be in here is just two of those things. So now we go home to somebody. Again, if I can show you guys, I will. If I can't, I can't. Here we go. Okay. So we have a left hand manual switch and a right hand remote control switch and they appear to be new boxes are actually in fantastic shape normally 28 bucks so might have gone up in value might have not uh we have this one b and o chessy system we sold a couple of these for like 15 bucks um yeah six dash one nine three oh five older lionel and we got some okay so these are gonna be the shells only so basically these right here fit on top of the metal chassis so they just sit up on there and then they'll put like little accessories on top um look at me acting like i'm an expert but wait just kidding there's the chassis right there i'm assuming anyways so there's a chassis that's a metal chassis right there this is actually a spotlight yeah these are the six five two zeros um i'm pretty sure that video has been aired by now but we sold two of these for 15 bucks a piece a little top shell top shell some kind of shell as well and another line out i've never seen a line out box like this yet normally twenty dollars so this says pre the pre-war years six dash nine four three one that's pretty cool that is pretty cool so let me let me put all this stuff back in here and that box will go home with one lucky person oh my goodness and <laughs> more peanuts <laughs> yeah. come on great night great night uh. i'm gonna have to get you a better night fine all right okay oh look at this so remember we actually found a billboard thing but this one says animated billboard that's pretty dope that's pretty cool all right let me uh sit this back in there 
How they go in there like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. These peanuts do not help this situation, so we'll just we'll just take it out like that. And let's see. They've normally paid fifty nine dollars for all this. So. But then look at that. We got a nice little big Lionel piece. New York Central System. New York City coal dump car 6 26842. That looks appears to be brand new, but again, whenever we get home, we always, you know, look stuff up and all that. And oh, there you go. Legendary Lionel trains, brand new. That'll go to my friend Keith. That is brand new. Normally 30 bucks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. So we'll give that to him. And we're just gonna take these boxes out because I don't want to deal with these peanuts. Alright, guys, we're gonna do a little something different. The wifey's gonna open up this next box. Let's go, baby. So this top thing thing right here says Manchester Wellington, or Wellington, so I should say. All right, let's see if we can even take it out because there's so much popcorn tracks. stuff. Oh no, those are trestles. Yeah, trestles, tracks, tracks. more trestles. Yeah, so it's a lot of trestles. And there's actually uh, whatever that is. This is a Dyna pack. Metal though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It says uh, it says. Model Railroad 5.5 Power Supply Mark 6. And it's a Dyna pack. So I don't know. I don't know. But a lot of tracks in here. So it's some pretty good solid stuff here. Very, very good solid stuff. And then we got one more box to go. Alrighty. Box of goodies, box of goodies. Okay. Life light. I don't think there's anything in there. I think I use it for like filler. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay. So. There's that box. I, I'm not too sure what we're going to do with that one. <laughs> we might just kind of put that one off to the side for now because it's kind of kind of trashy in that one. So, all right, guys. So, look at all these beautiful boxes here, you guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them. And I'm excited. All right. This one's sealed. So, bear with me. I get this bad boy open right here. Alrighty, looks like it's gonna be one of those plastic houses. That's exactly what it is. Lionel, it says station platform. So, uh, I think I listed uh, one of these, not necessarily that particular one. I got out there for like 30 bucks, so I don't really know how to price that one, but like I said, some of the loose stuff, there's gonna be money with the loose stuff. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm gonna put that knife away from you so I don't touch it. All right, Tech 2. Oh, we actually, remember we found one of these at the yard sale. Well, not the exact same one, but pretty close. Got it there for like 50 bucks in pre-owned condition, so. Let's see, oops. They paid $4 for it on auction. <laughs> yeah, this man had a good eye for stuff, I'll tell you that. That's just assuming that's potentially brand new. Put it back the way it was. <laughs> so his box is nice and neat. Uh, they paid, he doesn't tell you what he paid for it. Box a little beat up, but operating coal dump car. 6-16619. The reason why I'm telling you guys the model numbers is if you guys want to look it up as we as we go through it, you guys can. I don't know what that is, but we'll just put it right there. Got another one of these uh, lifelike bushes. Now, those are going to be a lot of loose stuff as well. Yeah, a lot of these... Uh, Loose little railroad crossings and stuff like that. So there's probably some good, some decent value in here. Lionel, the who? Monon? I don't know. Monon mail delivery car 6 9218. Got a big old one right there, too. It's loose in the box, though, so I just assume that's going to be pre owned. 6 16946. This is the 3840 Chesapeake in Ohio F9 well car. So we'll just. And there's some other loose stuff in here, so we'll just keep all this um, together um, as one. What is this though? Bachman Limited Collection, Collector's Edition. Oh, it's a little, mm. little, little stuck on there, but. Norfolk and Western Class J611, Limited Collector's Edition. Scale replica of the world's fastest and most beautiful steam locomotive and tender. Wow. That's a pretty cool piece. All right, we got a little smearing off box here. All right. Okay, so we got some switches. I'm assuming it's gonna be railroad. Yeah. <laughs> railroad tracks. Railroad tracks. Yeah. So 
Because like, he's keeping the switches with the railroad tracks, which is you know, definitely a good thing. Alright, another box here. Ooh, okay. A little metal piece here. That's metal metal. And only $39. What do you mean? $39 for that. I mean, when I say this thing is heavy metal, let me put that back on there real quick. Like, like feel how heavy that is. Like, that's, I mean, that's probably, what, two pounds? Maybe closer than three pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, that thing is heavy, heavy. All right, then we got some, this thing right here, Rio Grande. And this one's metal, too. They paid two twenty nine dollars for that. Okay. And nice little big one in here. I can get it out, but, okay, there's that box, so. Again, I don't know. A lot of loose stuff. Um, after we do all these boxes, we're gonna take a minute to um, get all this stuff situated in the truck and all that. Um, then we'll grab some more boxes if we can. All right. Okay, Marks, Marks toys type stuff. We found a few of these. These boxes have been like crazy, bro. Like, well, look at this. Look at that. It's just, it's like just shreds through. So it's like we might discard the box because every time we would like set it up and try to put it back in the box, like when I say it, it's so easy, look at this. Like it's, it's literally so brittle. Um, but this is a watchtower or beacon, so I should say. I don't see the top to it, but it could be in here. Um, so again, uh, these things are worth some some okay money. You know, they're not worth like crazy amounts of money, but it's still good sellable items for sure. Um, we found this. My wife, you found this. This Mill Works Molding Maker 925254. We've been finding some new Craftsman stuff, and my friend. Uh, Keith, he um, he won the other unit that he won. He found a bunch of new craftsman stuff too. So um, I don't know if it's worth any money, but we're just gonna we might leave this one behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's sealed. Break that bad boy open right there. All right. Uh oh, not a good sign. <laughs> these trees, man. I do not like these trees. I don't see anything on the bottom of there. I'm not about to take these out. So there's nothing below these. All right, yeah. So if you guys look down there, more trees. I don't want to make a huge mess here. And yeah, so I'm just going to assume all these are trees. Here's where it is. Wow, the box here and it is open. Illuminated fueling station. That sounds interesting. 6-12835, normally $110. So again, I don't know if it's used or, or, or new, but it does have some, some box wear. This box looks pretty darn clean for the most part. I just have a little bit of wear there, but this is a operating bureau crane, bureau crane, 6-18402. This is definitely heavy in there, so um, we're not going to take this box. Look at, all that, look at all that rat poop right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is going to stay here. I think I have one of these. I think. You can tell it's definitely seen better days. 6-12982. So culvert loader. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we we uh, have one of these. And it does have the right weight on it. But I will say that there is some wear issues in it. Looks like he did notice this before. He tried to take it back. But nonetheless, it's still a Lionel piece. And this right here was the most interesting box of the day. Uh, I don't know exactly how I feel about it. But we're going to see. I'm done. I, I just can't take it out. <laughs> it won't. It's almost like it's like wedged. There we go. So all right. So it's like a bridge. Metal bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does have some wear issues. So I might just leave this one behind though, to be honest, for now. So we got a big old box here. So we're trying to. There's a little quick that way the GoPro. All right, guys. So my GoPro got overheated. We might need to do something about that soon because when we do storage units, it's just not good. <laughs> so, uh, but the reason why it's overheating is because there's no airflow. It's just, it's just all heat. If there's airflow, it's fine, but there's just no, uh, there's just nothing there. But um, we are going to be opening up a little bit more boxes. I don't know how much more we could be able to do with the GoPro overheating. Probably should have my knife ready, but uh, we found this big thing. This thing says Santa Fe. I'm pretty sure I have one listed and I'm pretty sure my friend got one as well. Um, so if this is another Santa Fe. I'll probably snag this one and yeah that's exactly what it is another one wow how many do you have so yeah this one's probably gonna go with me we have uh ours currently listed for a thousand dollars and we have another one and then he has one but then he also has 
one just like this, but I think it's the New York version or Pennsylvania version. So he has two, now I have two. So uh, this one will go with me. Um, so this one's 100% gonna go with me. And then in here, there's a bunch of train tracks. But then there's a lot of these uh, lifelike stuff. Believe it or not, even though lifelike is not a crazy good brand, we actually sold two of these lifelike trains for 10 bucks a piece. There's not much, much money in them, but they sold pretty quick. So we must have had them priced pretty decent. Um, so this whole box will go with somebody. And then look at all these boxes here. We're gonna do this kind of quick. That way our, our GoPro doesn't overheat. Um, we're gonna do it all right here. That way we kind of get out of the sun a little bit. But we will try our best to show you guys what we can and then Whenever, whenever the GoPro stops, then we'll just show you guys our haul when we get home. So uh, there's like a bunch of scenery stuff, some stations. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of loose stuff, man. Yeah, it's gonna have to go home with somebody. Um, I don't mind the loose stuff. It just takes a minute for you know a little bit of research and stuff. So I'll uh, we'll put a little bit of loose stuff right there. This thing right here was heavy. Like, this thing's heavier than that box down there, if you guys can believe that. And. Yeah, let me open this up. And they're pretty darn good. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why. That's why they're heavy, because they're tons of books. I think we found something similar. They are standard federal tax reporter books. I don't know if there's any money in that, but that's not going with us today, but that thing is heavy. All right, let's see about this bad boy right here. Alrighty. I think there's just one thing in there. Yeah, the one, one little box. It says operating track maintenance car 6-18406. Appears to be new in box. Again, that'll go to somebody right there. So we do this a little quick. Like I said, I don't want the GoPro overheating. Seems like it cooled down a little bit though. A little bit. A little bit, not much, but cool down a little bit for sure. It's supposed to hit 100 degrees around 2 o'clock, but we'll be gone before then noon yeah we'll be for me. by noon mm -hmm. oh what is this we got a blank white box you guys i don't know <laughs> what is this oh like neutral bullet i don't know little cups i think that's exactly what it is they're like neutral bullet like accessories maybe i thought it said sunbeam sunbeam i don't know they look, they look like neutral bullets, so I don't know. But, okay, that box will be staying here uh, today. Little box here. Okay. Operating bureau crane. Okay, so we already have one of these. I think I think we gave that to him, so we'll probably just keep this stuff with him or something. I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's so much stuff, guys. Like, it's just so hard to figure out what goes to what. And chassis system 8204. That looks, I mean, that's clean. That's clean, clean. Um... So again, another one of those reading trains. I think we found one of those in the past. A little tree. Uh, another one of those. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a lot, you guys. It is a lot. I think it's train tracks. Oh. It's train tracks. Train tracks, you guys. Train tracks. Train tracks. For days. Train tracks. Here we go. Four years of thunder, little thing here, and we got Gun, the story of Gun, an American online thing, history channel, so I don't know, and there's this, oh, story of the gun, wow, and it has the book, so maybe somebody could take that and, um, you know, List them, list them together because it has the book and the VHS tapes. So, and again, I won't like with stuff like this. I'm not gonna put any monetary value on it. I just know he likes the media and book stuff, so this is just gonna go to him, and I won't count that towards anything, um, anything in general because, like I say, he's hooked me up with some stuff, and I don't mind. And like I say, he he's literally giving me all the train tracks. He said for any books and everything, he said he would rather have that than the train tracks. So, he's giving me all the train tracks now. It's probably at least a grand if not more in train tracks um so that's why i try to do that is this lionel trains non-derailing remote control 027 switches uh it's like a train track switch just a little train track switch you guys two boxes left 
Oh. Alright. Found the medicine stuff. It is Zyrtec. That's some vintage Zyrtec right there. Look at this. <laughs> That's some Zyrtec never used to look like this. They're, they're in a, what, an orange, green, and white bottle? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Made in USA though. Expiration date says 1999. <laughs> so this is the Alright, and the last box right here. Anytime I cut in boxes, I try to make sure I don't go too far <laughs> to cut the boxes. Remember, one thing that you should know, never cut towards you. You always cut away. <laughs> never do that. Alright, we got a big box of stuff here. Ooh, this thing's big. Look for line accessories. Um, this says 6-18823. I might not even take any of this stuff out, you guys, just because how... I mean, that's a bridge. You guys can see there, so I don't know. We'll figure out who gets that. But uh, yeah, that's all the boxes for now. We're going to stop recording. We might do one more recording because we do have a little bit of room. Um, but then after that, we're just going to call it quits and get to the house. All right, guys. So as you guys can see in the back seat here, everything's filled. The better the truck is filled. The only thing is about this run, there's not a lot of... Uh, it's not really a lot today. And uh, mainly because we're getting to the point to where we're get, we found the rat nest that was in there. So we're trying to be picky and choosing what we get you know what i'm saying because i'm not trying to have the rat stuff inside my truck so we technically fill it the bed of the truck first and all this so um what i end up doing on the left side of here is uh i got i pulled some train tracks because like i said they're gonna go in my unit um until we're able to like auction them off or sell them or whatever um there's a ton of train tracks in there and uh, like i said it's not a whole lot of like stuff there is some couple high-end stuff i think i got one um he got a couple of high-end stuff um, but then there's a lot of loose stuff again a lot of loose stuff there is some box stuff but you guys kind of saw the the whole haul in general um but now we gotta go to his house real quick we're gonna drop everything off you know tell him you know give him an update of what's going on we're probably about 60 65 percent roughly done with the unit um it's a lot of trash and then uh there's still some boxes in the back and there's boxes in the middle um so what we did was in the back right corner is what we kind of hit up the last haul this haul uh going towards the uh middle and then back to the wall is kind of where we hit so now we're kind of going left of the storage uh of, of the boxes and we made a nice little dent um over the past couple weeks so um this thursday which today's monday but this thursday will be three weeks since we won that unit and we're about 60 65 percent done that is that is really good that is that is a successful um rate in my opinion so uh with that being said we're gonna go home we're gonna hydrate get some food because we haven't eaten anything all day so um, wifey, any any words? Because <laughs> you're you're a little red. It's a little hot. I'm tired. <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> it's all right though. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some food and hydrate and all that good stuff. So we'll see you guys at the house with uh, the recap of what we got. All right, you guys. So we are here at the house, and it's many hours later. I have my therapy appointment at two o'clock, and it lasted for an extra like 45 minutes over our normal time because you know we're just talking about a lot of stuff. Um, but uh yeah so i'm gonna show you guys the haul of everything that we got and keep in mind like i said a lot of this stuff is just very loose stuff and it's just gonna be some research type things but um here's the haul the best two pieces i think anyways are gonna be these two pieces right here and then the rest of this stuff is kind of loose there is some box stuff there a few box things there and then the rest of the stuff is really loose stuff so um <clears throat> so again i haven't really looked looked into them i just kind of i think this one is the one i'm that kind of looked into but it's like <clears throat> all the outer shells i guess some some of the actual train stuff but it's just a lot of loose stuff so we got to do a little research on that but let's go into the two big big pieces wifey say hi to everybody hi you worked hard today didn't you not really you still enjoying your time here on the georgia picker channel and working with your husband a lot better than working somewhere else <laughs> all right all right so first things first is going to be this uh rail king mth electric trains 464 Hudson steamer the model is 30-1121-1 we have not opened this up um but still I think this might be one of the higher end pieces and then if you guys know the big piece that we have um right over here um you guys can't see it I don't even know if I can even get it from this angle but if you guys see that big orange box right there that thing is huge <clears throat> um so we found another one right here and it's pretty sure it's the exact same one Santa Fe uh fast freight and this one is sealed this one is sealed um if you guys remember um 
we found three of these now um i got the first one um whenever because technically we found two at the same time but one of them was like a new york one um or a pennsylvania one or something so my friend got that i ended up getting the santa fe one and then we found another santa santa fe one that was sealed so makes sense only fair that he got it and then we found another one so now he has two big ones i have two big ones I have, this, I, have, I have the same two. He has one just like mine. And he said he put his up there for $1,200. I put mine up there for $1,000. Um, I listed mine for $1,000 a while back, and he just listed his for about $1,200. Um, so, and, that, and I think, you know, honestly, the $1,000 and even the $1,200, I think we're just shooting high because, like, average sell, uh, sell price was, like, five to 600 but there's none listed other than ours so um but this thing is brand new sealed so very cool stuff there um again not saying this is going to sell quick this is going to take a certain buyer for sure um and you know if somebody sent me an offer for like 750 800 i probably will take it but at the end of the day we will definitely see about that um in here there was just actually is this the right one yeah so then this one there was just a few of these uh switches but the rest of it is going to be train tracks. So all this is train tracks. Again, um, we're not going to be too worried about this box other than, like I said, there's a few switches in here. And then the rest of this is going to be uh, train tracks in there. Um, this thing right here, let's see. What is this? I think I looked in this before. Yeah, okay. So yeah, just a couple of trains in here. Um, I think one of them is metal and one of them is plastic. Yeah, so one's metal, one's plastic. Again, loose trains on that. Um, we do have some box stuff here. This is the animated billboard. That was cool. B and O. What is this? Chessy or car? That's cool. Uh, then we got two of these little remote control switches. There's a right-hand one and a left-handed one. New York City Lionel box six dash two six eight four two. Like I said, a couple box stuff. Um, and then this was some of the loose stuff. Um, one box item here. Little Lionel trains. Kind of cool. But all this stuff is loose. I'm assuming this is going to go together. Um, but again, I can't be too sure until we go through it. Um, and this stuff right here, this thing says professional tunnel vent brush. I don't even, I think this was one of the boxes I didn't even look in, to be honest. Uh, this thing's kind of heavy. Looks like that thing's broken off, so I don't know. I don't know it says Ford something. Uh, I honestly have no idea what that says. And what is this? I don't know. I might have grabbed like a not a home good thing, but a home decor piece. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. Um, we'll figure that out later. Um, then over here, more loose stuff right here. A little loose metal thing, and then uh, I think there's more uh, little long train there. It's plastic on that one. Um, like I told you guys, a lot of the stuff's gonna be loose. Uh, this is another one of those like plastic houses that you guys have seen me pull in the past. Um, yeah, it's like a little plastic house in there. Again, they have model numbers on the bottom, so we got to figure out how much that's going to go for. And then this big box right here, a lot of train tracks as well. That's the reason why I took this one. Again, more train tracks. We got some loose, uh, another loose station of some sort. Gravel on loader, and these uh, these little life life trains actually sell pretty quick, but not for a lot of money. They, they sell two of them very quick for ten bucks a piece. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, we'll get to the middle box here in a sec. And then this was the box that actually has some box stuff for me. Uh, there's a, that switch that I showed you guys. Another Lionel one loose in the box. I think that one might be used as well. And then, yeah. So, there's a lot of, a lot of random stuff in here. And then this one right here had, uh, let's see, train tracks. Yeah, so these are train switches actually that go to the train track. And then, how are you? good um, and then right here is uh more train tracks like i said and they have a few more of these little switches i did list these for like 25 bucks a piece i think um so there's three of them and like i said i think the rest of them are going to be um i don't even know what that is to be honest but the rest of them is just going to be tracks man so again like i said not a lot of stuff today when you even if you take away the tracks uh we're still finding some good solid stuff um there's some some good solid items like i said these two are going to be the the two best items even if even if these were the only two items that we found i would be happy just because it's it's going to be money and it's going to be uh and it, and it will eventually sell um like i said there's a lot of loose stuff in here some of the loose stuff will surprise you i think we sold one loose train for like 180 i think he sold one for like i think 300 something i mean just crazy mo crazy money on in, in in the loose stuff so even though it kind of sounds like i'm downplaying the 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 loose stuff i'm trying not to but you guys you trying to give you guys more clarification if you guys know what i mean 
Um, but yeah, this is just a little haul. Oh yeah, also too, real quick. Um, forgot to show you guys this. <laughs> uh, so the Sears Craftsman um, Easy Wall here. I can't find nothing on it. None on eBay, none sold, none listed, none, nothing on WorthPoint. But look at this. It's an Easy Wall storage system. So look at the white, right? So the white right here, and then look at the teal. I mean, these are just really, really cool. Um, and I don't even know what to even list this at, to be honest, because he got one and I got one. I don't know, I might put it there for like 150 plus shipping, made in USA, um, 150 plus shipping and then put best offer, I don't know. Um, but this is just really cool. A very cool piece. And then this white box right here, um, I asked my friend if I can give it to my dad and he said, yeah, of course, no problem. And uh, basically what it is, my dad has uh, a little awning on the side of his shed and along that awning it's, um, uh, it's wood that he has stacked up and this kind of like a log holder is what it's called it's like a little metal thing that goes down and you stack your wood so um i was going to give that to uh to him and that way he can be a little bit more organized with uh with the logs and wood and whenever he does the wood burning during the winter time um so yeah that was pretty cool and then in the back seat of my truck i actually have one more item let me grab that and then um we also have like two boxes of tracks and i'm not going to show you guys that um no wait i got it out never mind Never mind, I got it out. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, going crazy. Um, but with that being said, um, any last words? Love y'all. Working hard, right? I'm tired. Yeah, this is my garage. You're getting ready for a garage sale. We delayed it for one more week, but then all this stuff I had to list, and then the garage sale stuff, all the all the cameras. You guys already saw all this stuff, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, a lot of a lot of work, a lot of stuff to do. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me and the wifey. The future me is going to take it away and give you guys the right numbers and stats for this unit all right what's going on everybody so this video i'm not too sure when this video was recorded but as of right now today is july 16th so that means one month and two days ago we won this train unit and let's just say yesterday is whenever this stat happened you guys are gonna see here in a sec so technically one month and one day we are officially in the green from our $4,500 investment. So pretty wild stuff. So I do have an update on how many items I do have listed, which is $321 for $22,310. I actually went back, I backtracked over $1,000 because I, my math was wrong. So I was like, I was like, how in the world did I go from 20,000 all the way up to 22,000 and I skipped a whole thousand dollars worth of listing. So. 321 items listed for $22,310. And again, that's just what I have listed. I'm gonna cut people deals, this, that, and the other. So as of yesterday, which was Saturday, we have sold many, many of items for a total of $4,503. So technically speaking, once you add in fees and stuff like that, we're not technically in the green, but if we're not counting any of that, we have officially sold over $4,500 worth of stuff from the train unit. And we still have I mean, you minus the 4,500 from the 22,000, that's roughly 17, a little over 17,000, closer to $18,000 worth of stuff listed. And we have a ton of stuff left to list. And uh, this upcoming Tuesday, we're gonna be going back down to the unit to clear out the whole rest of the unit. I'm gonna take my all my stuff, he's gonna take all his stuff, and we're gonna make pretty much a full day out of it, six, seven hours, roughly, give or take. And, uh, and yeah, so very, very amazing stuff, you guys. I did not think we were gonna make our money back in a month. I mean, essentially it was a month, right? But a month and a day, or two days, it was just absolutely, absolutely insane, you guys. I would have never predicted we would have hit that milestone in just just over a month. And you know, that's 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 where I kind of you know come in to show you guys that man, with a little hard work, a lot of passion, you know, getting off your butt, getting those listings done, going out there to find the stuff, man, it can truly, genuinely pay off in the end. Now, again, I don't know what this collection is worth at this point in time between what I split between myself and my friend Keith, but you figure just just say if I did everything pretty evenly, which I'm hoping I did. I mean, I think I did. I think I do a pretty good job with splitting stuff. So you figure if I already have twenty-two thousand dollars listed, he's going to easily have twenty-two thousand dollars worth of stuff. Plus, what we're going to be splitting. I mean, th I mean, this is probably going to be close to a hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar collection, if not more. If not more, because you got to count all the home goods stuff, like the old Trex thing, right? That old Trex thing that we sold in the past for a hundred dollars. That was that was very very surprising. You know, the Craftsman stuff, this, that, and the other. So. 
it's one of a kind, a very unique unit, and I don't think we'll ever find anything like that again in the future. I mean, if we do, you know, fingers crossed. And again, I'm the, probably one of the luckiest uh, people on this planet because I, we've been scoring big for the past year and a half, and I'm not going to take that for granted. And, um, you know, we're, we're just going to keep working hard for you guys. So, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, man, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Share the video. And, and most importantly, just enjoy your time here, whether you guys do all that stuff or not. I'm here to show you guys that you guys can go out there and make your money, work hard, and uh, don't let anybody else tell you that you can't do this because you can. Now, we'll say, you know, some people are going to say it's easier said than others, and then some people are going to say it's very hard. But I will say, man, stay true to who you are, stay dedicated, get on the grind, and just and just keep just keep pushing through. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it in the end. And if I can help in any way, message me over on my Instagram or any of my social media platforms. All that stuff is in the down in the description below as well. So uh, I'm not going to rant any further. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy, Georgia Picker. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.